part one, chapter two. I need to sell some wool, the boy told the merchant. The shop was busy and the man asked the shepherd to wait until the afternoon. So the boy sat on the steps of the shop and took a book from his bag. I didn't know shepherds knew how to read, said a girl's voice from behind him. The girl was typical of the region of Andalusia, with flowing black hair and eyes that vaguely recalled the Moorish conquerors. Well, usually I learn more from my sheep than most books, he answered. During the two hours that they talked, she told him she was the merchant's daughter and spoke of life in the village, where each day was like all the others. The shepherd told her of the Andalusian countryside and related the news from the other towns where he had stopped. It was a pleasure, it was a pleasant change from talking to his sheep. How did you learn to read? the girl asked at one point. Like everybody learns, he said, in school. Well, if you know how to read, why are you just a shepherd? The boy mumbled an answer that allowed him to avoid responding to her question. He was sure the girl would never understand. He went on telling stories about his travels, and her bright Moorish eyes went wide with fear and surprise. As the time passed, the boy found himself wishing that the day would never end, that her father would stay busy and keep him waiting for three days. He recognized that he was feeling something he had never experienced before. The desire to live in one place forever, with the girl with the raven hair. His days would never be the same again. But finally the merchant appeared and asked the boy to shear four sheep. He paid for the wool and asked the shepherd to come back the following year.